I'm James Martin. I'm foreman here at Stonehall Farm, which is part of Balkham Estate in Sussex. We farm around 800 acres. Um, we've got a couple of hundred acres of arable, and then we've got around about 600 acres of grass. We've got 160 suckler cows split over two herds. So we've owned a telehawk for about a year now. Um, last winter was our first full winter with it, and we're very pleased with it. Originally, we bedded our cattle by hand by pushing the bales out. We found this quite labour intensive and also we were using a lot of straw. When we had it on demo, we took it into a yard that we would normally roll out four bales. Um, we spread two bales and it was pretty much covered the yard. So it showed us straight away that we were going to make a huge shaving on straw. We did look at another competitor, but having this chute that turns that allows us to actually blow straw into our ball pens and other sheds definitely was the one of the big main selling points to us. The swivel chute's really good, really useful. The 280 degrees allows us to drive straight into yards, reverse out a yard spreading you know, to left and right. Also, we can get in our ball pens, we can blow it for a four foot door. Blow distance, I mean, it does actually depend on the weather conditions sometimes up here as well, because we do get quite a strong wind. But I should think you're probably easily doing 12 to 14 meters. The Wi-Fi controls are brilliant as well because it's one less thing for us to have to sort of, you know, plug in and out. They stay in the Manitou all winter. And being Bluetooth, it's quite easy to connect. You just plug the machine in, press the on button, and away we go. We use a lot of five foot round bales, and in square bales, we use whatever size we buy in. Both size bales work really well in the better. The fact that it teases the bale apart, rather than sort of shreds it and chops it, is better for us, our system, because the yards themselves are better, they don't poach up so quickly, and we find it more absorbent as well. We've noticed a big difference in the manure coming out of the yards. Previously, when we rolled the bales out, we'd find sort of, you know, consistent, you know, very inconsistent manure. Some yards would be drier, um, some would be a lot wetter, but even in the yard, some of it wouldn't be so well rotted down. But now what we're finding when we clear the yards out, that it's a lot more consistent, the manure, right the way over. Maneuverability, um, is absolutely awesome. You can pretty much get it anywhere on our farm. There are a couple of sheds that are very tight. Quick hitch is easy. Um, it's quicker than ever you would put a three-point linkage machine on or a towable machine. Uh, we do have a hydraulic free flow return fitted, but literally to connect the two pipes and connect the electrics probably takes 20 seconds at the most. I'd highly recommend the machine. Um, for us, saving in straw has been quite surprising. Time also, and with the straw obviously probably being the biggest um, thing, and I would definitely recommend people to have a look and have a try.